in the assistive wear booth and I'm about to talk to, wait for it, Barbara von at Westende from the Netherlands, and we're going to say hi to Helma and Joop while we're here. How are you doing today, Barbara? I'm fine. How are you? Did I pull off your name pronunciation? Yeah, okay. You, you did it very good. <laughs> All right. So Barbara has a 12.9-inch iPad Pro. It looks like in her in her hand here, and she's got a product called Proloco to Go. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, that's true. And Proloco to Go is an AAC app. AC. AAC for augmentative and alternative communication. So it's, it's an app you can use if you can't communicate like you and I do by using speech. Um, it's a symbol-based AAC app. And for people who know AAC, the, the word symbol-based will be clear, I think. But okay, but none of my listeners, no. or maybe only a few will. Yeah. So symbol-based means you use pictures to communicate. Okay. Um, the app you ta tap on images on the screen yeah. to say what you want to say. Yeah, true. So I, if I tap the word like... And maybe we can hear it. Like. It will say like or want, oh. need, go, stop, take. So she's tapping on icons that show little a little person taking a box. Somebody holding their hands out to a box was for want. Stop was a stop sign. Yeah. Yeah, true. So um, you tap pictures to, to communicate. And it's important if we start communication like you and I do, that you can communicate in all communication, communication function there are. So it's not only about requesting, it's also about commenting or take a discussion. And to do that, you have to use uh, a lot of words. And the most important words are core words. And those are the words that are on the first page that are not nouns. So uh, verbs are core words and verbs will tell you or the other that I want something or like something or I need something or I want to say something or so those something. are the most important words yeah. okay yeah um, it's I noticed some are pink and some are green what and some are black what are the green ones uh, that are different kind of words and now you have me because I don't know <laughs> the English you know, word for it. you know what I think they are I think there are a lot of them are um, uh, prepositions yeah. so true. it's to with in for yeah true okay. too it's a little difficult for me to, <laughs> to remember yes. the English nouns yeah. verbs prepositions yeah yeah, yeah. and and the, uh, here, down below there are different folders so if I go into the food folder did you see it I will do it again if I go to in food folder you will see that a lot of core words will stay in the same place so people can remember by motorical learning where the pictures are Okay, I'm gonna do one here. Yeah. Wait, no, yeah. you got to keep me in food. food. Keep me in food. I. Where is it? Uh, no, no, there it is. Want ketchup? Yeah, there we no go. Press, I want ketchup. The text, text button. The text button. Yeah. I want ketchup. And then say the whole sentence. Oh, I see that. I didn't understand that. I want ketchup. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah. 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 So what if you've got a word that, that you need to use that uh, what I want to say is MacBook Pro? How would I, how would I say that if I needed, had this device? Because I bet, whoops, I bet that isn't in here. No, let's wait and see. We have a search function, always handy. And let's see if there's a MacBook. Oh, there was a oh. Macintosh computer. The Macintosh computer was there. Okay, so it shows you the path you have to take to go to that word. So at Macintosh computer, it says it's, it's, it's in things. Then go to computers, and there it is. Macintosh computer. I love it, and it's a, the the icon is a uh, is the original yeah. Mac. That's fantastic. <laughs> but let's say I wanted now I wanted to say MacBook Pro. How would I? Could I make my own icon? Yes, you can make your own icon. Let's make another one in this folder. So we're in the folder things. Um, let's go over here and say. I want to make a new button. So you press the plus, that's yes. for a new button. Add a picture, I will choose a symbol. Let's say... She's typing in the word computer. And she's... Oh, sorry. Oh, I saw one. Oops, oh. she bumped a button. Oh, that's fine. We can leave yeah, that. Okay. We saw that there was computer as an option. You okay. can choose between different uh, pictures. Right, so, yeah. right. So now can I record my own voice? Yes, you can record your own voice. And you will do. So I will press the red button and you will say it. Okay. MacBook Pro. Let's listen to it. MacBook Pro. Oh, there we go. Really Not like too it. bad. So you will see there's an audio recording over there. I will give it a label because we have to know what the... How about... Mac... 
How about MacBook? Book. That's probably good Mac enough. MacBook. Okay, and then we'll say it's done. And then it's there. MacBook Pro. Oh, and very I good. And say I want, want MacBook Pro. I want MacBook Pro. <laughs> Everybody does. That is yeah, fantastic. It's true. So I noticed there's problems. It's it's kind of quiet in here, but this is pretty loud. Do you have control over the volume on this? Yes, we have control over the vol volume, so I can choose for my own if I want a soft, loud, or shout function. Um, so we made the sentence, I want MacBook Pro, and let's say, okay, we, we're going to shout it, and I hope you can hear it. I want MacBook Pro. It's louder if you're in a more quiet environment, but sure. it, there's, there's a big difference between uh, loud and shout. And okay, very good. And a lot of kids who like to use shout. Oh, I bet the <laughs> yeah. kids love it. I love it. Yeah. And now, now if I've made uh, MacBook Pro and I'm the teacher, is there a way for me to um, share that with other people, that, yeah. that icon? Yeah, you can share that with other people. Oh, MacBook, MacBook Pro. Pro. <laughs> so, let me see. It was in things. Uh, it was it in was computers. computers. And there it is. So, if I now select that button, it gets a, gets a blue thing and I can share it and I can say okay I can share it by iTunes but I also can share it by iDrop and that's the most easy one. Oh, okay so just throw it up on AirDrop yeah. for so if you're in a classroom even without Wi-Fi. If I can open oh, she's one-handed she's gonna yeah. try to do it. Oh does this run on the iPhone too? This one on the iPhone too. Oh okay that's that's fantastic because not everybody has a 12 point here let me hold this. Mm -hmm. Oh, Can you trust me with your... Yeah, yeah I, oh, will, wow. I will. So, let me say I want to export it through AirDrop. And she's going to tap export, export. and she's and got her way. iPhone waiting. Oh, that's not... A, uh, let me see if I'm Wait, there. that's at assistive wear. Yeah, this is my iPhone. It's okay, my personal iPhone, so okay. I will say... And it says, okay, I want like to accept it. Yes, and but it was in it. Dutch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm from the Netherlands, sorry. <laughs> and no, now, we like that. And now it's over here, so I go to things on my iPhone. Are you okay with iPad? Yes. Computers, and let me see where it is. Where did he put it? It. Oh, it's got a funny icon, remember. Yeah, let's search for it. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, no, well, he airdropped it to my iPhone. Sure. Yeah. So those icons are really small yeah, on the phone. They're too small for a phone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Should, you should choose another grid size. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe, a, maybe a regular iPad would yeah. work as well. Yeah, it does. It, well, it works on the iPhone, it works on the iPad, it works on the iPods, it works on the iPad Pro. Actually, for the children, they can still see that small, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but if you come become older, and they, that's that's true. That's true. Not so much. Yeah. Well, this is uh, this has been fantastic. I really appreciate your time with us. And where would people find this? Uh, if you go to our website www.assistiveware.com, you can find all the information about our products. So we have different. We we'll also have some other products you can find there. There is also a big part that's called Learn AAC, and there is everything about information about AAC you can use in your classroom to tell your teachers or your parents. And it's also there in Spanish. So I think that's that's great. Fantastic. Thank you very much for your time, Barbara. You're welcome. Thank you.